Hey, what's up, guys? So, this is the first time I've ever done this, and I'm gonna do it because I thought it'd be fun. I'm gonna give you a review of the first two episodes of She Hulk. So, I noticed online a whole bunch of people kind of dogging on it and saying that it's super woke and it's garbage and that they're making Jennifer more powerful than Bruce and better at everything in every way. Well, I watched the show and I was a little apprehensive given the fact that the entire world seems to be saying this. And me and my beautiful wife who asked me not to put her face on the camera, she's riding next to me, watched it. She says, mm -hmm. and I got Maggie back there. Hi, Maggie. Okay, so here's what I think. Uh, given that I'm not a massive She-Hulk fan, uh, you have to take that with a grain of salt, but after watching it, it's fairly, fairly close to the comic book. It's tonally very close to the comic book, and I know there's the one scene where she's talking, where Bruce is teaching her about controlling her anger, and she says, I'm infinitely better than you, I do it more than you, blah, 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 blah. Well, everybody's saying how she's saying that she's automatically better controlling her anger because of catcalling and mansplaining and a bunch of other things. What almost no one covers or talks about is immediately after that, she turns into the Hulk, which means that she's not any better at controlling her anger, and that was the focus. It wasn't about what makes her angry, it's just the fact that she's angry and they cover that in a, in a way that I actually enjoyed which is pure sarcasm and showing her thinking that she knows more when she doesn't and as far as the training goes every single thing that Bruce tries to teach her she says that she's better at and then Bruce is very calm and goes along with it and then lets her learn on her own through each step why she isn't as good yet as Bruce. Now that's not to say that she won't be, you know, better or whatever. And this is only the second episode that I've gotten to. But what I will say is that there's a great learning there that's missing in most modern movies and TV shows where she automatically assumes that she's better than everyone else and then has to learn that she's not quite as good as she thought she was. Now, is the show great? Uh, I'd give it about a 7 out of 10. The comedy's kind of funny, the, the action looks kind of cool, but then some of the special effects or CGI is lacking. For instance, there's one scene where they're in the courtroom and this villain breaks down the wall then she does this jump kick all the way across the courtroom and it's some of the worst wire work I've ever seen in my life but it didn't really take away that much because it's a very fun lighthearted show and I feel like I feel like it's worth giving it a chance I'm not like I say I'm not an expert I'm not a huge fan I'm not you know going out of my way to to be a shill and tell everyone that this is the greatest show ever. I'm also not going on my way to tell you, well, they have a bunch of woke garbage and it's blah, 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 and they're preaching and blah, blah. No, there, there's obviously going to be some tonal things when it's all written by a woman, directed by a woman, starring a woman. That means that it's going to be, get this, from a woman's perspective. And just like anything else, it's not every woman, it's the individuals that made this show that feel the way they want to. And also, it's their show. They made it. They have the right to make it however they choose. So, with Marvel's blessing and the people that decided that they're going to make it, they did their thing and, and they're making it the way they want to. I find it to be pretty entertaining. I'm, I'm not going to shut it off if it's on. And as far as the second episode goes, because most of that was covered from the first episode, they have some great callbacks, and spoiler alert, Abomination. 
and they do some interesting things with him that I actually enjoyed and it's just the beginning. They're setting up something that actually left me wanting to see more. Also, when you watch the show, make sure you stick around because in true Marvel fashion, there are scenes after the credits, at least for the both of the first two episodes. So, my very, very amateur review from riding shotgun in my own car while my wife is driving and my baby's playing in the back. Hi, baby playing in the back. Uh, I give She-Hulk a 7 out of 10. Check it out.